Hi, this is mathematics class. You'll be learning multiplication of numbers by multiples of 10. The multiples of 10 we'll be using in this class are 10, which has only 1 as its index. 100 has 2 as its index. 1,000 has 3. 10,000 has 4. 100,000 has 5, meaning that 10 has only one zero. 100 has two zeros, 1,000 has three zeros, 10,000 has four zeros, 100,000 has five zeros. So let's get started with multiplication of numbers by these multiples. The first one is 0 0.42 times 10. What is 0 0.42 times 10? Now when multiplying by multiples of 10 like this, you begin from the decimal point counting to the right because it is multiplication. Now, counting from the right, we have 10, which has just single zero. So you'll be moving the decimal points to the right, counting only once, and which is one. So the new place for the decimal point will be this point. So the answer is 4.2. You do not need to add the zero because zero, 4.2 is the same thing as 4.2. Now, the next example is 42 times 10. What is the product of 42 and then starting from the decimal point like i said but in whole numbers we do not have decimal points so where do we assume that our decimal point is outside so we have 42 your decimal point is here so you count to the right 10 has just single zero so you count one then this empty space you fill it up with zero so the answer is 400 and 20 and we have more examples right now so what is 4.2 times 100 what is 4.2 times 100 still counting at the decimal point so this is 4.2 100 has 2 as its index that is 1 2 so you have 1 2 the decimal point has been shifted outside and this empty space you fill it up with zero so the answer is 420. Now the next example, if you have 0 0.000721 times 1000, what will be the product? Now counting from the decimal point, what is the index of 1000? The index of 1000 is 3 because 1000 has just three zeros. 1, 2, 3. So when multiplying by this type of multiple of 10, you start from the decimal point. Counting to the right hand side in three places. So we have one two three now the new place for our decimal point is at this point So we have point seven two one you do not need to write all these zeros You need only a single zero. So the answer is zero point seven two one It's as simple as that multiplying by the multiples of ten or you call it the powers of ten We still have more to come in the next class. So watch out